I just built the ultimate summer tackle box for bass fishing, and today we're gonna test it out. That's a fish. But he's fighting like crazy, look at this thing. All right guys, as you see, we're out here at the lake and today we're gonna be testing out a summer tackle box that I built for bass fishing. There's five different types of baits in this bad boy to help us catch fish throughout this lake behind us. And it's gonna kind of help us fish different vegetations, different styles of structure, open water, different conditions for that summer time of the year. So that way if you're out here trying to catch some fish in this time of the year and you don't know what to throw, this box might be able to help you out. Now, our main goal is to catch a fish on every single lure in this box. So let's get straight to it, show you what's in this box and start fishing. All right, now first things first, when you're getting out fishing, you need some terminal gear. So some of the basic stuff we got, just some EWG hooks. These are three out hooks. We got some jig heads. These are just some basic little one eighth jig heads. And then we got some weights for Texas rigging. So just some basic bullet weights like that. On top of that, as you see it's summer, there's a lot of grass out here behind us. So frogs are a must for those grassy conditions. They're really easy to work over the grass lines and lily pads and can avoid getting snagged thanks to those hooks that they have right there. Now, when it comes to fishing in the open water, the shad spawn is on right now. There's a lot of little shad in the water. So we're gonna go with a crankbait. These square bill style crankbaits are really good because they bounce off of rock and log without getting those hooks snagged up because those hooks will pull back. So that's a really good lure to have. And then the spinner bait is another really, really good bait to have. It Im imitates uh, a small, bait fish or small schools of bait fish moving through the water so you can go with a shad pattern once again to match that shad spawn. So now that we've gone over our hard baits, you can't go wrong with having some soft plastics during that summertime. Worms are great bait to have. You can fish them on Texas rig, working in and out of that grass, in and out of that structure real easy. And then paddle tails are another bait that I love to have. Once again, the shad spawn is on. So the more baits that you can have that match that shad spawn and really kind of just trick those fish if you need to finesse fish, that's what you want to have. So this is what we have in our tackle box to guys today. We're going to start getting this rigged up, get out there on the water. And once again, we're going to try to catch a fish on every single style of lure in here. So there's five lures that I can count. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can catch a fish on every lure. All right, guys, we got our first lure tied on right there. We're going with the top water frog to start things out with. It's early in the morning right now. There's a lot of grass, a lot of lily pads building up on the edges from that summertime. So this is a great lure to use in particular because we can get over those grass patches real easy. If you're also fishing in the evenings, it's another really good lure to use. So let's start out with this and see if we can find our first fish. Oh my goodness, I launched that thing. I would not be surprised the way this, this frog is easily working through this grass line right now, you know. Oh my goodness. That's a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> All right, guys, we got one on the spinner bait. Saw them busting out in the open. See if we can get him up real quick. Woo! He's trying to get out of the boat. Here we go. Flip. Woo! All right, not a monster at all. That was a decent one. That's what we want. First fish of the day, guys. First lure completed. Spinner bait. That's kind of a pain because we saw them out here busting shad bait. Got ourselves our first one of the day and uh, it's on the one bait they're busting on. So it's kind of sad because if you're only trying to fish one lure, I mean, this is good, we found it, but we're trying to catch a fish on every single lure. So let's go ahead and swap out to one of our crankbaits, another one that'll really help match that hatch, show you guys exactly how we can get some more fish like this. Nice little largy, awesome guy. Let's get him back in the water though. So the good thing about these flat crankbaits like this is they work through the, uh, the grass and structure a little bit easier due to that shape. And uh, they just kind of move a little bit less wobbly, a little bit slender of a wobble. And that's what we want at a location like this with a lot of grass and a lot of moving shad we got to try to match. How wild would it be if I just get one first cast on this thing? Oh my, no way. No way! No way! No way! <laughs> There's no way! Okay, there's a way, there's a way guys. That fish just popped off, but there we go. There we go. First cast with the crankbait. Shad spawn is officially on summertime guys. They're biting man. Boom. All right guys, we're gonna get this Texas rig put on real quick just to make sure we have this thing ready. And it's just a basic little stick bait worm. We're just gonna go around with this thing, a little 
three aught or it's a four aught EWG hook. I can't remember. I think it's a three aught, just like that. And we got our bullet weight. We got our stopper. The reason these stoppers are cool is you can adjust the stopper or you can adjust where the weight stops with the stopper right here. And then you can create a little bit of clicking and knocking with that thing. Or you can just bring it all the way down and easily fish in and out of that grass line and structure without getting caught up. And as you see, it's basically the same uh, size and shape of that worm. So easily you can work in and out of that structure. The thing about like lure, a box like this too, is like you don't need to swap out lures like we're doing. We're just trying to catch a fish on every lure. Ooh, some big weight back there. But it just goes to show you, if we wanted to keep throwing the spinner bait or the crank bait all day, we could probably keep catching fish on them. All right, guys, we got the paddle tail on real quick. We're gonna just keep working. They're still busting, not as much as they were earlier. They're really busting on the shallow edges on this grass line. So there's a good chance that the shad's really high up, hiding in that grass line. So we're gonna try to work into this, see if we can find some of these fish. We might even have to pull out that frog again and try to find him there. Here I can see a little ruffle in the water right here too. It means that there's shad running over here somewhere. the back of the boat's gonna turn because the wind I'm just gonna yeah, come on it's a little guy keep going you go, get, get a cast in there get a cast in there <laughs> we got one guys on the little uh shad bait it's a little guy but he's fighting like crazy look at this thing these guys fight so hard <laughs> not a little guy actually it's a decent guy but it's not huge we'll just flip them ready three two one Ooh. Woo. All right, guys, and he just spit it right out, barely hooked. Look at that, guys, our third fish of the day. Smallest one, too, and we got him on our little finesse bait. Nothing crazy. Let's get him back in the water real quick. Keep casting him while they're here. Throw it over here, then it is for me to grab a reel in my thing. Hey! Hey! <laughs> yeah, they want the paddle tail. Just through the, oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay, what is this? There's a net too somewhere. Um, I think it's not nettable, but man, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. He's trying to go under the boat. No, 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 nobody. <laughs> this guy's fighting like crazy. It's just because how plump he is. Look at this little butter bar right here, dude. All right, guys, we just got ourselves another one whew, on that little paddle tail. Just seeing him like spool up or school up, sorry. We're seeing him school up out here and attack this shad everywhere. So came over here, follow him around the lake, found a nice one first cast out there while this one is still in the water. It's pretty wild. So let's get him back in the water and uh, keep cranking at this little paddle tail because it seems like that's going to be our bait of the day. Later, buddy. All right guys, so we got out here with our summer tackle box. And as you guys can see, the fish went absolutely crazy over that shad pattern. You know, sometimes that's the way it is. You find one bait that works better than the rest, but our main purpose was to get out here, have a nice selection of baits that you can use at any location. And as you can see, we had a box ready to go. Now I will make sure to leave a link below in my description for all these baits and jigs and hooks, everything that we used in this box. But I will say guys, as long as you're using something close to this display, this pattern, this look, um, the size, style like that, you will more than likely catch fish in your area. Um, also, just kind of do a little bit of research. You know, what kind of bait is in your area, bait fish patterns. Um, you know, there might be more bluegill, there might be more different pattern shads. So make sure you do that as well. But that's gonna be for today, guys. Hopefully enjoy, and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.